On the first Sunday following the leave taking of Holy Pascha, the Orthodox Church commemorates the fathers and hierarchs who were present at the first ecumenical council in the year 325, convoked by the Emperor Saint Constantine. After the spreading of the Arian heresy, which claimed that Christ was created, the Council aimed to solidify the dogmatic teaching on the divine nature of Christ in that He is unbegotten and without beginning, one in essence with the Father. The Doxasticon of the Fathers of the First Ecumenical Council in Tone 8 Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, when the rank of the Holy Fathers flocked from the ends of the inhabited world, they believed in one substance and one nature of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit, delivering plainly to the Church the mystery of discoursing in theology, wherefore in that we load them in faith, we beatify them, saying, what a divine army, ye God-inspired soldiers of the camp of the Lord, ye most brilliant luminaries, in the supersensuous firmament, ye impregnable towers of mystical Zion, Ye scented flowers of paradise, the golden lights of the word, the boast of Nicaea, and the delight of the whole universe, intercede ceaselessly for our souls. The Doxasticon, rich in theological meaning, highlights the importance of taking a militant stance in the Church in defense of the truth. Flocking from the ends of the inhabited world, the Fathers who presided at the Council were worthy of being praised as a divine army of God-inspired soldiers, reminding us as Orthodox Christians to be vigilant warriors, fighting against heresy and evil with the weapons of truth and sound doctrine. We must also consider how valiantly these fathers fought for the truth. Many of them were severed from the persecutions that ended almost a decade before the council was convened. Many bishops and hierarchs attended with painful wounds, yet they nevertheless decided to make known the truth and to cut off God's enemies from the church. Knowing this, we must reflect to ourselves. In the present time, when more heresies than ever are flooding the gates of every Christian soul, what are we doing to secure the truth of sound doctrine in our lives and in our families? Are we dazzled by teachings that only aim to make man the center of the universe? Are we drowning in scientific, mystical or philosophical teachings that contradict with Christ's? These holy fathers, the golden lights of the word, are for all the Orthodox a beacon through which to understand the true doctrines of the faith. For by their ascetical struggles, purity and renunciation of the world, the fathers of the first ecumenical council were shown to be enlightened by God himself, who gives understanding to all by his Holy Spirit. By chanting this doxasticon, we beatify those who continued the work of the apostles in unbroken succession those who simplified complex theology for us in the form of the Nicene Creed. Thus, whenever doubt should arise, let us look towards these holy saints, who being illumined by the Creator of the world, have proven that the Orthodox Church will never be prevailed by the gates of hell and heresy, 
just as Christ himself promised.